Hello, my name is Prasenjit. I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. Today, I would like to talk about agent re-registering in Atrium SSO. Let's begin with what is a web agent and what purpose it serves. BMC Atrium Single Sign-On uses web agents to communicate to BAO. There are web agents for each of these BAO components, repository, CDP, HACDP, and OCP. These agents perform the following functions. Authentication services, where the agent intercepts the application access request to see if a user has a valid token. Authorization services, if the user has a valid token, the web agent checks the policy of group and assigns the correct permission to the user. Let's see when do we need to re-register the agents in SSO. Change in BAO certificates. In case you're changing the certificates on your AO server, let's say you're moving from self-signed to a CSI certificates, you will need to re-register the agents. Similarly, if you are switching to a new SSO server, you would need to redeploy the agents. Corrupt Atrium SSO agents. For some reason, if the existingly deployed agents gets corrupted, say any agent configuration files gets misplaced, you will require to re-register them. Lastly, if your BAO peer is not starting up after installation, or for some reason, if the peer is not able to communicate with the SSO server, a re-registration of the agents is needed. Let's take a quick demo and see how we can re-register the agents. Let's log into the SSO console. Over here, we can see the list of agents registered under this SSO instance. Click the agent details. These are the agents and these are the current status of those agents as of now. Let's say we want to re-register the BAO CDP instance. Let's stop the CDP service first. Once stopped, go back to the SSO console, select the CDP instance and hit delete. The agent is now deleted. Now let's go to our CDP install directory. Go into the Tomcat folder and delete the AT SSO agents directory. Now go back to your web browser and go to this location. Scroll down. This is the re-registration command which has been broken down to make it easier to understand. Let's copy it and paste it on a notepad. Now let's replace the AO component install folder tag with our actual CDP install directory. Make the change everywhere within the command. Next, type in the admin credentials for SSO. Then, type in the Atrium SSO URL over here. For the web app URL, if your BAO is using a load balancer, you can provide the load balancer URL over here. If not, you can provide the CDP URL. Let's cross check if everything is looking as expected. The command looks right. Now let's make it a single command. Turn on the word wrap. Make sure we don't have any unnecessary spaces.
one thing to make note of is in BO 7801 in the CDP directory we no longer have the excluded URL the excluded URLs file has now been moved into the config directory let's see go into the CDP config directory here it is so let's update our command Put a double quotes at the very beginning. Now let's select the complete command, copy it and open the command prompt. Paste the command over here and hit enter and wait for the re-registration process to finish. As we can see, it says deployer execution completed. Let's go back to the SSO console and see if we have the CDP agent. Let's refresh the page. Now we can see that we have our CDP agent, but it's down. So let's start the CDP service. The service is now started. Let's go back to our web browser. Give it a minute and then refresh the page again. Now you can see the CDP agent has successfully started. I hope you found this video informative. Stay tuned for more such BAO videos.